take one. Hi everyone, my name is Paige Cho and I'm here to talk about my experience with Design Lab's foundation course. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. A little bit about me, I have no design background whatsoever. I actually went to school for human services. I worked in the social work field for a couple of years and now I've kind of scaled back to working in the office in a more administrative slash accounting role. This course is perfect for those who don't have any design background and it's recommended that if you don't have any design background that you take this course so that you can get familiarized with what um, the academy is going to be all about. I really like that Design Lab has this option because if you end up not liking the course, which is completely fine, you also don't have to waste your money and your time going through Academy just to find out, oh, this isn't really what I thought it was. That being said, Foundations is more focused on the UI stuff, which is user interface, um, how everything looks, uh, like colors, typography, font, etc. The cost of the program is $499. The good thing about this is that if you decide to move on to the academy, then that $499 is applied to your academy tuition. This course has eight units and they give you eight weeks to finish the course. You can of course finish it uh, before those eight weeks are up, which was what I did. I think I finished it in about six and a half weeks. Um, and I also worked full time and it was very manageable. They recommend that you spend at least uh, 10 hours a week doing the units. I find that 15 to 20 hours is probably more realistic. When I first started the units, I was writing everything down on my iPad, but I noticed that it was taking a lot of time. What I began doing was just taking pictures with my iPad and putting it in my um, online journal. I use Zinnia, which is great. <laughs> and that helped me to really move faster and to be able to also stay organized. So just a little bit tidbit for you guys. We also have to meet with our mentor one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's through like Google or Zoom. Basically during those meetings, you would just talk about like your work, your struggles, and get feedback from your mentor. Something that is really important for students to uh, remember and I think to be successful in foundations is to take um, constructive criticism well. Your mentor is not out there to uh, I guess like sabotage you. Um, they're there to really make sure that you have quality work and that you are learning everything that you're supposed to. They're even going to give you some like tips and tricks on how you can navigate uh, Figma a lot easier. So speaking of Figma, that's what I use to design um, a lot of my work. I don't have a MacBook, so therefore I can't access Sketch, but if you have MacBook, um, Sketch is designed specifically for those users. Um, but if you have a PC like I do, Figma will probably be the best for you. Prior to me even starting Foundations course, Design Lab does have a free one week tutorial on Figma. So I highly recommend that you take um, one week um, to just really learn like the basics of Figma. I find that that really helped me to navigate a lot faster through foundations because if you don't have any design background, Figma can be a like a like a. <laughs> Figma can be a learning curve. There is another program called Adobe XD. They do have a one week um, free tutorial for Adobe XD as well too. And so after I learned Figma, um, I went and I learned about Adobe XD 
and it was a lot easier because you already know kind of like the basics from Figma. So let's go ahead and talk about the eight units. Unit one is visual design basics. Here you're really learning the background of design and visuals, learning about grids, and they also have you do some like reflective work about your journey um, of wanting to become a designer. Unit two is UI design principles. Just like the first unit, there's a lot more reading involved, but they do have you get into a, a little exercise or project of designing a landing page. So you do get like your feet wet with working with Figma and graphics. Unit three is UI design elements. Here you are really going to get your feet wet and uh, Figma. So you are going to have to design a landing page with a hero image for a coffee shop, telling um, customers uh, about the products and getting them to subscribe to get a free cup of coffee. Unit 4, we're halfway there, is design critique. So here you are learning how to critique um, other students' work and also how to take criticism about uh, what can be done to better your project. For me personally, this one was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't realize how uncomfortable I was in giving other people feedback because I didn't want to hurt their feelings. But in this course, it really goes into all of that. I think that this is very beneficial because Giving feedback and receiving feedback is basically just a part of a uh, UX, UI um, person's job. Unit 5 is designing for multiple devices or screens. So here, you're going to learn about the dimensions of a phone, a tablet, a desktop, etc. Because when we design a website and we are looking at it through our phones, Everything might not translate correctly, so we have to learn how to design um, responsive is what they call it, a responsive design across all, you know, sorts of dimensions of screens. Unit 6 is images, icons, and logos. This is going to test your patience. At least for me, it did. This is where we have to get um, I guess familiar with the pen tool and the vector tools or the boolean tools. So yeah, that was super challenging for me. It took me a while to really get a grasp on this concept because it just wasn't really intuitive for me to use. Unit 7 is color and typography. So this one was really fun for me. Um, this is where we had to, sorry, there was like hair in like my face. So this is the one where we had to um, make a e-commerce uh, clothing website for people of like uh, 20 to 30 year olds, uh, business casual. And we had to put together like fonts and our color scheme and basically make a mobile app. We're on the last unit. Unit 8, this is our 10 hour design challenge where we have to make a desktop and uh, three mobile screens of a travel website for uh, people who are in their 20s and 30s as well. My best advice is to really take your time. Take your time to design um, something that is responsive and something that um, can be easier for the user to navigate and take all of the skills um, that you've learned in the course and apply it to this one. Your mentor is there to help you. If you have an extra uh, mentor session that you know you like you need to use up, then I would say use two mentor sessions for the design challenge. I think that will give you a better uh, grip on like what you need to fix and what is good and so on and so forth. You should hear a final decision from uh, the team in about four days because I submitted my project Monday night and then I heard back Friday night. So it didn't take that long for them to make a decision at all. There is an optional unit nine 
about UX uh, research. There's like no projects or anything like that, but it's just reading to kind of um, let the students, you know, get a feel for what UX research is and what they can expect when they go on to the academy. So that's it for my experience with Design Labs Foundation course. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys have any questions, just drop down your um, questions, comments down below, and I will do my best to answer it. For anyone who is going into this foundations course, Good luck to you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. So it kind of um of <laughs> take two, three, four.